I figured I would um, maybe do a little bit of throwing. I... Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, do something a little different today for episode 33. Uh, the gyms are closed here because it's Good Friday. So, I'm outside. I, th I figured I would um, maybe do a little bit of throwing. I haven't uh, done much in a while. And, you know, you probably think that I lift all those uh, weights and do all those explosive lifts to maintain these devilish good looks. But, no, I was, um, I was born with these. So, no, I lift all those weights and do all those lifts so that hopefully they, they translate um, into farther throws. So, yeah, we'll see how it, uh, how it goes. Okay, so I'm in my own backyard here and doing standing throws with the 28-pound weight for distance. Now, this is the men's lightweight and the women's heavyweight in Highland Games. And normally it is thrown discus style, one-handed, and you spin one or two spins, but the ground was way too wet to spin today. We've got some fine Scottish weather out here, freezing cold and drizzly, and uh, the ground is so muddy that it's probably two pounds of extra mud on that 28 pound weight. You could feel how soft the ground was just trying to plant that left foot and rotate that right back leg. All right, time to throw some darts, also known as Scottish hammer. So we'll uh, see how it goes. It's starting to rain a little bit harder now, so I'm not sure how many I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get in. All right, so a little lesson on footwear. Unlike the Olympic hammer, Scott's hammer, you have to keep your feet planted in the ground. So we wear these boots with a big blade on the end to, uh, to keep us grounded. So we can wind that hammer as fast as we can and uh, hopefully throw it for max distance. Okay, so the 16 pound hammer is one of two Scottish hammers. And this is the light hammer for the men's and the heavy hammer for the women. And like the 28, after a bunch of warm-ups, I filmed my three best throws. And I'm definitely slow, and I have to use my lower body more. But um, it wasn't too bad, and I was uh, quite happy with, uh, with how the hammers went today, considering I haven't thrown them in a very long time. Or done much twisting or winding a hammer at all. And I should probably widen my stance uh, just a little bit. And to hold on to the hammer, we put a sticky substance called tacky on our hands. Okay, so that wasn't too bad for a first throw, you know, in over over a year, really. So there's a first, second, and my third is over here. So each one was a little farther than the previous one, which is definitely what you want. And you can see how far the hammer goes into the ground on a wet day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found that interesting, give me a like, subscribe, and throw me some comments. And until then, stay tuned for episode 34 of The Ways, and happy Easter. Yeah.